Though for me it's weird. Maybe. Yeah, it's weird. They're delicious. <laughs> you look so uncomfortable. I love it. You love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You like it? <laughs> Six, of course. Six, course. you love yeah, it. Yeah. You don't like it at all, right? So you give it a four. Yeah. Don't do that. Subscribe! What's good, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Zamo Onom Zamo, and if you don't already know that, then I'm assuming you're new here, so don't forget to click down below on the subscribe button and join my family. So, today I'm here with my beautiful friends. They're going to introduce themselves, starting with Aidana. My name is Aidana, I'm from Kyrgyzstan. My name is Aidana, I'm from Kazakhstan. Okay, so we're going to be trying Zim food today. They've never had a taste of any of the food that's actually on the table here, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Have you guys had any African food at all? I tried yes, I Nigerian food. Niger also, yeah, you Nigerian yeah, food? Yeah. Did you guys like Nigerian food? Of course, I love it. <laughs> wow, so it's going to be interesting. Oh, Do you guys yes. like what you're seeing so far? Yes. yes. What's think, like your I favorite thing that you're looking at at the moment? This one is okra, right? Okra, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Oh, okay. So you guys have okra in your country? No, we don't. How do you know it? Because <laughs> I love Nigerian okra soup. Oh, okay, okay. So today we just have, um, you know, basic food that you find in almost every household in Zimbabwe. For example, this sada. That's our staple food. So like almost every dish that you have in Zimbabwe has to have sada. Yeah, it's like the base of the food. It's like pounded yam if you've had pounded yam. Mm, yeah. yeah. And then we have curried rice here. So it's curried rice. I don't know if the camera can actually see this, but it's rice with curry. And most, if you go to most weddings and parties in Zimbabwe, they must be curried rice. So you eat this as well with like either, you know, a stew or mm -hmm. something that complements mm -hmm. the, the rice. And then here we have gizzards. It's gizzards with, um, Red peppers, yeah, red peppers, yellow peppers, and everything of that sort. This is usually eaten dry, maybe as like a snack if you're like out on a barbecue. Mm -hmm. And you can also complement it with some borovo sausages. I'm sure every Zimbabwean loves these. These are eaten for breakfast, lunch, any any time of the day that makes you comfortable. Yeah, it's just a sausage that's barbecued. You can even either barbecue it grill it, um, fry it, or anything that you'd like. And then we have tripe and intestines. We have something like that in, in your country. country. Yeah. Do you like it? Yes, oh, okay. I love it. I don't know if you like the way it's made in Zim. I know like most of the foods, right? They're made different in each country, mm -hmm. but they're there in each mm -hmm. country. So I um, mean, have, have you guys seen something like this before? No, well, I mean, it looks like a show you. Mm -hmm. I've okay. actually not tasted this before myself, mm -hmm. but it's cabbage with peanut butter. Peanut butter. Apparently, it's a Zim dish, but mm -hmm. I've, I've honestly never had it. I'm being honest. I'm, so I'm going to be trying it with you guys for the first time. Interesting. This is what it looks like. It looks a bit, I don't know, like a porridge. Not like appealing yeah. to the eyes, <laughs> but it's it's something that's eaten by people in Zimbabwe. And can one of you just guess what this is? Uh, I think it's. Cow, right? mm -hmm. Which cow. part of the cow do you think it is? It's legs. Legs. Yeah. Yeah, it's legs. cow legs. Mm -hmm. Do you guys eat this in your country? Yeah. Well? Oh, so you also I have. <laughs> so are you, are you curious to know what it tastes like? Yeah, I also taste it. And this is beef stew. I won't be lifting it up because the container is a bit too full. Wait, wait, are you able wait, to lift it up? Yes. All right. So this is beef stew, garnished with some carrots and potatoes. And this is what like a typical Zim stew looks like if it's got beef inside. And in our country, we don't have like a mixture of meat in our dishes. So we just like have, for example, if you're having beef, it's only beef. You can't mm -hmm. add like fish, chicken or anything inside. That's just taboo in our household. And the same with this one, chicken. It's a chicken mm -hmm. um, stew. It's got rosemary and all types of um, spices. I'm sure there's black pepper as well in here because black pepper is like a spice that's yes. really liked like in Zimbabwe. Looks and delicious. potatoes and carrots and baby marrow. Okay, can one of you guess what this is? 
<laughs> Just take a wild guess. What do you think this is? I have no idea. It looks like spinach or something like this. Mm. Yeah, it's actually spinach. Yeah, yeah, spinach. yeah this is spinach. Although in Zimbabwe we have what you call chomolia, not spinach in particular. Mm. It's rare to find people having spinach. But we do eat it as well. But like the food that you have with the sadza is chamolia, but we don't have it in Cyprus. And this is dried vegetables. Mm -hmm. So they just dried and cooked the same way as the actual normal vegetables. And this right here is rice with peanut butter. Have you had something like this no. before? <laughs> you guys look scared. Yeah, it's, it's peanut butter with rice. Interesting. I've amazing. never had that as well, but I'm curious to know what it's gonna taste like. And this is okra, and you guys said you've had okra before, right? Yes. But this is this is the Zimbabwean. You never tried. This is how we make okra in Zimbabwe. We don't add any type of meat inside. It's supposed to be plain. You just mix it with soda, and then just um, cook it. And then this is an adopted. Food from South Africa. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really originate from Zimbabwe, but Zimbabweans have it a lot. Mm -hmm. It's called chakalaka. Chakalaka. Yeah. <laughs> so we eat chakalaka with rice or whatever. It's just like beans, baked beans. Mm -hmm. You have baked beans, right? Yeah. You eat baked beans and then it's like um, cooked with onion, tomatoes, mm -hmm. and all these nice things to make it taste really good. So we're going to be trying each and every one of these foods right here and they're going to rate them from 1 to 10 and tell us what they really think of the food. So are you guys ready? Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to try the food and they're going to pick, each one of them is going to pick what they want to try out first and what you would pair it with. Looking at it, what would you pair the food with? Either sadza or rice. So you can pick whichever one you'd like to pick. Let me go first. As I know, you should eat okra with salsa, right? Yeah. You can. Yeah, you, yeah. you should take it like with yeah. your finger. Oh, you know. Yeah. That, yeah you, you use your hands to eat salsa. <laughs> of course. So you can try the salsa. Okay, let's try with the okra. Oh my god! You are supposed to do something like this. <laughs> okay. Yes. And, okay. Uh -huh. Let's try. You can try as well. I, I don't know. Would you like tell to me try? what you think. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're supposed to do. Like this as I know. Mm -hmm. Let's try. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can try. You can, just eat it. Mm. Tastes good, right? Of course it is. Tastes really good. <laughs> it's like my favorite. Does Nigerian it look, does it taste like the Nigerian soup or it tastes no, slightly no. different? Kind of different because Nigerian is more spicy. Uh huh. The meat, like. Yeah. So ours is more plain compared yeah, to yeah. Nigerian food. Okay. I like but it. you like it still, right? Of course. Does it taste good? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even taking anything. You're supposed to like scoop. Okay, okay let me show you guys how mm. we would eat it. So you scoop your salsa like that, right? I don't know. Some people will, like fold yeah, the, yeah. the salsa like that, but I don't. I just use my fingers like this. Mm -hmm. And then you scoop it like that. You see? Mm -hmm. Wow. And then, then you put it in your mouth. <laughs> I, I, okay, you put it in your mouth. Nice, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tastes really good. <clears throat> you know, in my country, we cook this like porridge with milk, mm -hmm. and we eat it for breakfast mm -hmm. usually. So for me, it's a little bit porridge. Good. Yeah, porridge. Yeah, do, you, porridge do you use maize meal? Because this is made out of maize meal. Like maize, they grind maize, mm -hmm. and then they make it into like a powder. And then you keep adding yes, it yes, into water yes, and yes, stirring yes, and stirring. So we cook it by same way, but mm -hmm. we add not water, we add milk, then we boil it. Yes, and it becomes like a porridge. Oh, no more. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You want more? <laughs> yes. Okay, try something else with the sadza. Pick something else that you think. It's Aidana's turn to pick something that you can have, okay. which you think you can have with sadza here. Maybe this. Okay, you can do it. I think this. No, this is a dry. Okay, no, try it. it. No, this one, this one. Chakalaka, try it. Chakalaka. Okay. Okay, let's try chakalaka. And tell me what you think. What are you trying it with? With the stew, the beef stew. <laughs> mm. What does it taste like? It's so nice. It 
tastes good right it's very good mm. i personally have only had chakalaka so like when you go on bar for barbecues mm -hmm. like say you're going for a fry mm -hmm. and then you have like barbecued meat barbecued mm -hmm. sausages some greens mm -hmm. and some chakalaka so mm -hmm. you have like one two three four in one plate mm -hmm. and then you just eat from it mm -hmm. what do you think I, of the like this beef? you I like this so it much, yeah. and this meal actually it reminds me we have something like that also mm -hmm. Also, but it is yes yes it's called, called jarkoy the name is jarkoy yeah. okay same things potatoes vegetables meat absolutely same okay nice. and can you try the meat please and tell me what you think about the meat yeah, yeah, yeah. i would love to try it because sada really goes well with bilbo sausages if you add a barbecue tell me what you think of the sausage let me actually have one as well mm. my hands are dirty i was so hungry and it's so mm, nice. It's nice. It tastes so good. I love it. Mm. Using manga guys, that's all I can swear. <laughs> Does it taste like anything you've had before? Mm, yeah, it's like like ordinary sausage with mm. but cool. All right. This is definitely very weird for me. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. So you don't like it at all? No, wait. I I can't say that I don't like it. It's mm -hmm. just very weird because I used to eat it like for breakfast with milk like a porridge mm. so this is like totally different for you mm. have you had something like this as a porridge as well? of course in my country the same oh mm -hmm. okay it was my favorite porridge oh yeah mine too can you like adjust to having it as a sadza though like as a thick paste mm. oh, no is it difficult to adjust to no okay okay so the next thing we're going to try which I also haven't tried mm. before is that i'm curious to know what cabbage with peanut butter tastes like i really so we're gonna scoop and then all try it at the same time and then we okay. give like our honest opinions on what this tastes like okay okay <laughs> it's very weird. Weird, weird it's combination. weird it's a very weird combination what do you think of it? Actually, I like it. Really? <laughs> you really like it? I like everything. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we how okay. close, like, in Russia, it has the, in Russia, it has the same, like, meal. Mm -hmm. It's close, like, to show, like, kapusta. What is, what is the combination of? Uh, it's, how do you kapusta? I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, vegetable. We fry it. Mm -hmm. How close? Wait, 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 I will translate. Yeah. Cabbage. Mm. Cabbage. Yeah, yeah, this is cabbage. Yes. Oh, it's cabbage. Yeah, it's cabbage. Oh, oh, it's cabbage with peanut butter. Mm -hmm. So it's just like fried and then they add peanut butter inside, I guess. Because I've I've never tried that. And to me, I think the combination is a bit weird, but mm. I don't know. I thought it's oh, onion. It's I like it. Onion? Yeah, I thought oh, it's onion. No, no, it's actually cabbage. It's oh. cabbage with peanut butter. I don't think I really like it. Me too. Let's try mm. the chicken stew. That's eaten with rice. Mm, yeah. Like okay. Mm. Then let me make you guys taste it first. So you can take rice from here and then okay. try it. Let me add. And tell me what you think. and you can try the chicken as well they're chicken drumsticks you can just slit everything like in half and try it out <laughs> you're struggling let me help you okay mm. tastes nice mm. it's very chicky right no. no it's not baked i don't think it's baked i think she boiled it and fried it then added it in the chicken mm. stew nice mm -hmm. very nice so now we're gonna try the rice with the beef stew mm -hmm. tell me what you have in there okay. <laughs> i can't wait when we'll try this what the, the... this this ah <laughs> all right so you guys can try I don't know why I didn't get a second plate. Like, why are we behaving like <laughs> this? 
shortage of plates in this house. Elima, can you do just... Yeah. Alright, so you can add some rice <laughs> yeah, in there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> just take all of that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, add some stew on there. And tell me what you think of the stew as well. It's Would you cool. eat the rice by itself? Because I know Nigerians make this is like almost our version of like fried rice because mm -hmm. it's like a yellow color mm -hmm. like nigerian fried rice and maybe i don't know if kenya has fried rice or just ghana and those western countries but would you eat this by itself or it's got no flavor by itself without mm -hmm. anything no it's got no flavor right? it's just i think they just okay let me, let me not say i think we just boil it with curry so mm -hmm. there's no flavor whatsoever it's just a yellow looking rice mm. so it always has to go with something no mm. i i don't think that i could ever yeah. eat it just rice without anything so what do you think of the beef stew i love meat mm -hmm. and this one is nice it's very good i love it and it's soft mm -hmm. yes i love it meat is soft okay this is the meal that i like that it looks like jerko right Jarkoir. <laughs> What's that? Jarkoir, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't it's like a Russian. Or goulash. Goulash. Yeah, Russian goulash. Goulash, yeah. yeah. Um, it's Russian uh -huh. meal. Goulash. Mm -hmm. It cooked like. It's the same way. Vegetables, oh. potatoes. Goulash, it's like. Baby marrow and everything oh, inside. Yeah. It's Indian food. Oh, really? Yeah, it's Indian meal. Wow. But it tastes yeah. good, right? Yeah. Yes, I, yes. I also yes. enjoy it. It tastes, tastes like the same. Absolutely the mm. same, I think. And it looks the same. Okay. Let's try this. Yeah. <laughs> Before it gets cold. Because um, we call this ulusu in my language. Amadusu. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called. What's, what's, what is it called in Shana? Maguru. Maguru. It's Maguru. called Maguru in Shana and Amalusu in Devele. And it's just intestines and cow tribe. In my native language, it sounds like karin. Karin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it's called karin. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Okay, so you guys can try it first. You can Actually, use your hands. I've never tried Karen in my country. Never. Really? Never. Are you scared? Yes. yes. <laughs> it was like it looks like kind of something unusual. So <laughs> when even at home, but my yeah. mom cooks it, I never try it. Oh, okay. It's like eat it with your hands because usually we eat it with sata mm -hmm. and vegetables and with like a gravy. Mm -hmm. So just okay. try it with your hands and tell me what you think. <laughs> she went right in for the intestine. <laughs> Okay, so she's trying the tripe and she's trying the intestine. What do you think? I love it. You love it? Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite meals. Really? And you? Country. What do you think? I mean, you need to try it as it's well. It's unusual for me. Okay. Still. And like, I more prefer okra soup. Mm. Tastes good. Yeah. And the way it's like, in Zimbabwe, we just fry it. I don't know if she fried it because I don't see any onion or tomato inside. So it's just, you know, boiled and then fried. I really like the flavors. Enjoy. Mm. <laughs> but I don't understand the taste. It tastes good, man. Mm. I love it. I love it too. I love it so much. You can't even imagine. I definitely love it. And recently I've been thinking about like my native food, mm -hmm. my local food, and now I'm eating something so, uh, <laughs> so you're not craving your own Wait, what is this? How happy I am. Intestines. Oh, okay, let's enjoy it. <laughs> mm, so nice. Tastes good, right? Yeah. Just try the vegetables. Mm. Those go with salsa. You can scoop a bit of sata and try the dried vegetables and the spinach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can try go. the dried ones first. Okay. Because I think you haven't tried those before. I'm sure you've had spinach, so you know what it tastes like. Let me warn you, it's got like this unusual taste. Mm -mm. It tastes good. Really? It is good. When I first like... tried it, it had this um, sandy like taste. No, you know, it tastes like um, leaves for sushi, right? I don't know. For sushi? Yeah, really? for sushi. Like ah. leaves for sushi. I, I don't understand something like that. I like it. I <laughs> do like you it. like it though? No. Mm -hmm. I do, really. Okay. 
and I'm more like meat person, meat, uh, chicken, something like but that. But you have to eat this with sadza for you to understand it because you can't just eat it by itself. Okay, so okay. just try it with the sadza, maybe you like it better. Okay. But you don't like the sadza, sadza either, so, mm, so it's gonna be a complicated yeah. thing. And tell me if you like it. It's okay. You look, <laughs> you look so uncomfortable. Okay, let's try this. I've never had this either. It's um, rice with peanut butter. I don't know what it's eaten with. I've, like I said, I've never had it before. So I'm just gonna try it without, you know, any stew or whatever. Mm -hmm. So let's just try let's it like that. Yeah. I hope it tastes good. Mm. It's kind of yes. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a different taste. Mm -hmm. I would definitely eat mm -hmm. it. Yes, and here it tastes like a porridge, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's because of the way it was cooked. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we'll never it tastes know. good. I like it. I don't know if it, like it's it eaten with the stew or something. No, I think if you will combine it with something like that, it'll taste it a bit will, weird, yes. right? So we just because eat it like, butter. but or maybe like meat on the side. I don't know. Okay. I, I've never had this, but I think it tastes really good. Okay, the next thing we're gonna try is this. Have you had gizzards before? I think yes. Have you? No, from countries. Maybe, I don't know. It's just a gizzard. A regular looking gizzard. Ah. So it like, um... I think it's just nothing too special or anything of that sort, but it looks good. It's I think people just have it dry. I don't think I've seen anyone have it with something. It's hard. Yeah, a little bit. In my country, we have this um, meat called kurdak. Mm -hmm. Well, what we cook with this stuff. So it's like anywhere. Else. Mm -hmm. It's really good though. It tastes a, a lot like um, the green peppers. I think she really like fried them a lot in the green peppers. Mm -hmm. The yeah. last thing we're tasting, mm. the garlic. <laughs> okay, thank you. We cook it on special occasions, like usually it's this. New Year. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the way we cook, how we cook it, we boil it. Mm -hmm. Some people cook it like that. We boil it all night, and then it, it becomes like um, uh, gelée. What's that? Gelée. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. It becomes like like that. this. Like yeah. what? It's called umuma in my language, and we actually don't like it like this. It needs to be like running because oh. when it becomes this jelly, that means it's cold. Mm. Yeah. So we eat it like this, then we have like sadza on the side. And like we eat it cold, we eat it cold. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, and it's called uh, haladets. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, it's not a meal, it's like a snack. Ah, okay, that's different. At least I'm learning something. But in my country, you have it hot. Unfortunately, right now, because like we've been taking time mm -hmm. to try other foods, it's gone cold. But on a regular day, it should be running. And then you have it with sata and vegetables, either the dry ones or the spinach mm -hmm. or the chamolia, which we actually don't have right now. So I want you guys to try the way that we do it. You can have it with the sata or you can just try it plain. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> but you said you've had it, right? Does it taste any different from what we have in Zimbabwe? Yeah, different. Yeah. What does it taste like? I, I'm not even sure if I've tried analog of this kind of meal in your country. You have yeah, it. no, we don't have. So what do you think but of it, though? It tastes weird. Like I mean, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. At least you like it. Mm. And you don't like it. Not like I don't, but I'm not sure if I will ever try this again. <laughs> does does the appearance of the cow leg like look weird to you or anything? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Does it look weird or you're used to it? No, for me it's weird. Maybe. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, would you eat it again? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> 
Okay, so what 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 would you rate this out of ten? Nine. Nine? Yeah. And you? I think it would be ten if it would if it would be hot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It would be definitely. Ten, but what nine, would you rate it? I think two. Two. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's rate all the foods mm -hmm. then. What do you guys think of the gizzards? Which mm. what would you rate it out of ten? Five. Five. Three. You know what? I thought you liked them. No, but I like the, the, that. Okay. More. And then the rice, the plain rice with curry. Two? Four. <laughs> the sadza. This is our staple food. Before you give it a one, this is food that people eat every single day in Zimbabwe. So please. Okay. Just because people eat Zimbabwe, <laughs> four. No. Four. So what would no. you have given it before? Six, of course. Six. Four. You love yeah, it. Yeah. You don't like it at all, right? <laughs> So you give it a four. Yeah. Okay, and the beef stew? Nine. Yeah. Ten, I love ten, that ten, one. Ten, 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 ten. Ten. And this? The greens? Two. No, you don't four. like them. For me it's four. Four. And this, I love grouper sausages. Mm -hmm. I would give this a ten. What would you give For it? For me it's nine. 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 Yeah. nine. And this? Ten. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it. No, you don't like the texture. Okay, and the chakalaka? Oh, chakalaka eight. You didn't try the chakalaka, no, right? Yes, I just remembered just that I didn't it. try. Chakalaka. And tell me what you think of it. Hmm. I like it. I Chase think we have it. something else too. That's like similar. That. Yes. Okay. But, like it. but it's a little bit spicy. Hmm. That's what a would nine. you rate it? Nine. nine yeah. And the chicken stew? Oh, chicken ten. 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 And you? Yeah, ten. Ten. And the cabbage with the peanut butter? Um, three. <laughs> oh, I like it. You like it? it? Yes, oh, of okay. course. I good. like vegetables. So and much. the rice with the peanut butter? Ten. Ten. Yeah, yeah you like that one. Yeah, yeah. And the okra? Oh, of course, ten. <laughs> and you? Six. Really? Okay, so. Overall, did you guys really just enjoy the food? Yes, like, yes, if you were to visit Zimbabwe, would you like really have a good time trying out new mm -hmm. food and stuff? Because this is not everything that we have in Zimbabwe, obviously. I couldn't get everything because I'm not in Zimbabwe, I'm in Cyprus. But hopefully next time when I do a similar video to this, I'm going to get like a variety from breakfast, um, snacks and all those things like Cerevita, knickknacks, Simbas, you know, like chips, mm -hmm. like um, crisps. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah we have like really like a variety of those as well so maybe i'm gonna try and do that as well and see how you guys think what you guys think of the would, snacks and everything we would love to do it again okay yeah. thank you so much guys thank you guys for watching and if you watch till the end thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one Bye. Six wanna Bye. fuck JT. They do. Hellcat, this a SRT. Pull up G Wags, he's three. Ow. Make a 55 suck day T. He wanna menage with